So they won a thing, they get to the mic, they start talking, and it's really sad, apparently. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Comedian, it's currently the afternoon, and I'm bracing myself, sat on this chair, to react to the M-A-M-A, -A, the Mama 2018 speech, because my chat has told me that it's going to be quite heavy, and BTS often is quite heavy, even when you least expect it, so... When my chat is saying it's serious, I know it's serious business. If you're wondering who is to blame for me reacting to this apparently depressing piece of media today, it's my patrons, my lovely, beautiful patrons. They're the ones who voted for this as part of the Patron for Thursday's poll. The weekly, like, if there's like 50, oh, I don't get to school well, I didn't do school well, 56 weeks in a year, right? Something like that, I think. I do it like 53 weeks out of the year. It's pretty consistent. So if you want to take part in a poll and, and suggest very depressing, you know, heart-shattering stuff for me to react to, you bastard, then join my Patreon. The link's in the description and you also get Run BTS and Bon Voyage reactions for signing up. Lots of other fun stuff as well, early access. Get to support my channel. Get to support me being me, which is arguably a good thing. Maybe. So yes, this, I'm, I'm actually stalling a bit. I know I am because this is apparently going to be depressing and it's 10 minutes long. So 10 minutes of like, <sighs> but there's no time like the present. So subscribe, grab a box of tissues maybe, and let's go. So he's announcing the artist of the year. Okay. And I'm guessing BTS won. Because if they didn't, it would be weird to give them a speech, wouldn't it? I haven't heard Blackpink personally directly, but that sounded like a banger. Like an absolute banger. <laughs> How could you not give that man and his clown wig artist of the year? Seriously. God. Imagine being in that venue, you wouldn't have any hear drums left. <laughs> it's milking the decibels. I'm guessing they won? Asian Music Awards. Artist of the Year. Ore Kasusang. Okay, again, the surprise spoiled a bit because I can do logic and my brain logically said they're probably one because if they're giving a speech. So they won a thing, they get to the mic, they start talking and it's really sad, apparently. That's not what a water show is supposed to be like. Look at Jungkook. Look at Jungkook. He's praying. He's like, oh, I'm about to... These guys think this is a happy moment. I'm about to depress them forever. I'm about to scar them mentally. Here we go. Oh, that's a cool stage. Holy shit. LED floors. Well, for now, at least, it's good to see RM smiling. <laughs> It's a strange trophy. It's like an Eiffel Tower that nobody finished building. Oh my god. I was just saying in my MA 2018 reaction, not this, it's confusing, I know, but that, you know, that V's hair deserved more clothing to go with it. Look at him now. What is color clashing? That word just, the word clash does not exist in his dictionary. He's so stylish, it's irrelevant. Alright, why does shit get real? 
보여드리고 싶고 실수하지 않는 모습을 보여드리고 싶기 때문에. Thanks to the follow, Noxy. 매번 무대를 올라오기 전에 심장을 졸이면서 정말 무대 준비를 하는 것 같아요. 어, 정말 이 상이. It's getting, it's getting real. Yep, yep. Oh. This feels a bit like, like, obviously it's very emotional, but it feels a bit like when you're a kid and you stub your toe and there's like some bully next to you or your, if, your, if your parents are like mean or something. And because you know you shouldn't cry, you cry all the more. But it's good. I also like that he kind of lets it out, you know. Thank you for the follow, Sharited. Now, to me, this is wholesome because I feel like a lot of people in his situation, probably even me, you know, if and when eventually I win a Korean Music Award, obviously, I think even though I know emotion's good and I want to express it and I want to destigmatize the idea that sharing emotions, especially as a man, is illegal, um, I feel like I would be tempted to turn away from the stage to hide my emotions, to hide my feelings. And I like that he's just kind of like, all right, give me a second. I'm gonna work with this. You know, he just lets himself feel on stage. That is confidence. And if I was a vocal coach for acts, which I might become to get loads more views, I'd say the way he's breathing out whilst crying is really, you know, it's good voice box control. Aww. I don't know if this makes me like a weird person. I really think this is really sweet. Like, you know, I think anyone else in a situation would be like hiding their emotions, but he's like, I'm crying. It happens. It's an emotional moment. I'm just gonna, gonna finish crying and then, you know, be on my way. And his bandmates are like hugging him. Like it's making me tear up a little bit, but more from wholesomeness. I think this is really sweet. I think this is really sweet. Awesome. <笑>いい歓迎。<笑> Oh, oh, I've got like chills. Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh man, Junker crying is enough to set the whole fan base off. Oh, Jim is nice called professional. He hasn't cracked once. I can tell he's feeling things, but he's just... Oh, 
자부심이기 때문입니다. 그래서 <laughs> wow. It's about as humble as an award speech gets, I feel like. As non-ego driven as an award speech gets. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet and considerate of V. Like, I'm glad you mentioned that, because if you're like the parents at home, it must have been like, is anyone going to say it? You know, the whole birthing thing. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Others,你们，也，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，，
it's just very, I don't know, it's very different. Again, another example of BTS being like brutally honest, which is the thing I like most about them. Like, I think the most important thing for me in life or the person I want to be is honest, not in like a rude way, but just like, you know, society pushes us so much to like suppress our emotions, suppress our feelings, to speak in riddles, to not say what we mean. Um, and honesty cuts through all of that noise. Think how much time and life and emotions are being saved by honesty. Like, it, I don't know, it's just, it's just interesting, like them talking about this at an award show. <laughs> Oh, bless. He's just blended into his jacket. Oh. I got chills. Hard to follow that. If I was the presenter, I'd be like, show's over, guys. That was it. That was the moment. The music they picked is perfect for it. The music is almost like exploitational. It's like if they hadn't played that music, maybe they would have given a really happy speech. I, I don't know. It's just like intense. Wow. Wow. Okay, I can see what you guys meant about this being emotional, because that was all of the emotions on stage. But again, like. Like one of the things I like most about BTS is how they're kind of challenging notions of like uh, not only mental health for anyone, but also toxic masculinity, like what it means to be a man, you know, how you can express yourself as a man. Like, I feel it's hard to imagine a different pop group or musical group, it's an all male group where they cry and don't try and turn around, and hide it, like, you know, excessively wipe the tears away, like. I like how much they, they own that, you know, it was an emotional moment and they shared that. And that's, that's, that's the irony is that people like those emotions. There's a reason emotions, emotions weren't invented by some like evil God, like there's a logical, scientific, rational, you know, and even, you know, love related ex explanation for emotions and why they're essential. So the idea that people often feel need to suppress their emotions is really sad. So it's so cool that they just gave that speech and were like, yeah, I'm crying right now. It's an emotional moment. And then they shared, you know, the very honest thing of like what they'd been through that year. They even gave it context. It's one thing to like share your emotions, but it's another thing to sort of explain why you feel a certain way. So yeah, it's one of those things. I don't know. I kind of see that video a bit like Fester where um, maybe I have the benefit of seeing it in hindsight, I guess, but um, it's really quite wholesome to me. Like, um, I don't know. It did make me feel a bit teary, but in a, in a sort of wholesome way, it felt like, you know, because I think that would be them. I don't think they were there crying like we almost broke up, we're a sham or something. I think they're crying because it's like we've been through a lot this year and look at, you know, look what came out of the end. It was worth it. It all paid off. Like, you know, we, we, got, we got over this together. I think it was, uh, yeah, like heartwarming. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you to my patrons for suggesting that. I can see why you suggested it. Ultimately, got quite good feelings out of that. So I liked it. You guys, you guys get off with this one. I was worried it was going to be really, really depressing, but I actually feel quite good now. So, so thank you, patrons. You, you, you know, you, you get a pass this time. <laughs> if you want to join my patron and suggest emotionally risky content for me to react to, or just normal content, that's fine too. The patron links in the description. It's patreon.com slash comedian reacts. And I've got run BTS and Bon Voyage reactions on there and early access to all my videos, polls, all that fun stuff. There's lots of goodies on there. Sign up in the link below. Thank you very much for watching and please make sure you check the subscribe button, the notification bell, leave a like on the video, of course. It's all YouTube stuff, you know the deal. 
and comment and let me know what you thought or how you see this speech because you know not say my interpretation is the correct one it most likely is but i could be wrong so what do you think of it let me know thanks for watching i'll see you soon take care guys and remember if you like this reaction to that you know emotionally hard-hitting speech click the subscribe button for light-hearted shaking peaches